I'm Maria Papadopoulos. I'm a, a consultant ophthalmic um, surgeon from Moorfields Eye Hospital in London. I um, have specialised in glaucoma and uh, particularly subspecialised in paediatric glaucoma. So um, I've been on five um, Orbis projects. This is my first flying eye hospital um, experience. Paediatric uh, glaucoma is a chronic incurable um, disease. It's a condition of the optic nerve which is damaged by high pressure in the eye and when that occurs in children uh, the eyes expand. So these children have very large eyes. Often uh, the eyes are hazy um, and uh, that reduces um, the vision and but if you get their pressure down that all can um, clear. Pediatric glaucoma is unlike, uh, say, congenital cataracts, where um, you take out the cataract, you may um, uh, put an intraocular lens in the eye, and that's um, the end of the story. Whereas for pediatric glaucoma, it's an incurable condition. We're operating on patients, a three-year-old, who'd already had six operations in each eye, and I was doing the seventh operation in, in an attempt to just control that pressure and stop him from going blind. And our goal is to keep them seeing for as long as possible, hopefully for their whole lifetime. It became very clear discussing um, cases with the uh, local ophthalmologist that they're very frustrated uh, by their inability to um, have a long-term or, or, or more a definitive uh, cure for these uh, patients. Obviously, you know, glaucoma is incurable and surgery is inevitable in these children and actually they end up having many operations in their lifetime. But uh, they're frustrated by the fact that um, uh, after a couple of operations they are still unable to control the intraocular pressure and having to tell the parents um, that, that their child needs even another operation and they can't assure the parents that that will work as well. Um, and it became very clear that um, they needed some guidance on how to perform these operations and which ones to perform once one or two had not worked. Having experienced those frustrations myself, um, this was one of the reasons I agreed to become a part of the volunteer faculty of Orbis, um, to be able to pass on what I'd learnt and uh, the surgical skills required to ensure that these children have a successful operation with minimal complications. It's really very obvious that uh, when you pass on these surgical skills or when you're teaching, um, giving the lectures, that uh, you can see it written on their face how much of a difference it makes to them, these few little tips you're able to offer them um, and the logic behind, the principles behind, for example, the surgery and why you do things the way you do. They get it and they're, they're very, very grateful because we all want the same thing. We want to make these kids' lives better and uh, allowing them to see and to be as normal as um, possible. And, you know, that's our goal. And wherever you are in the world, that's really what we're aiming uh, to achieve for these children with uh, paediatric glaucoma.